right. Oh my god. Hello everybody. Welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn Show. Welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn Show. What year is it, Kristen? It is 2022. It is 2022. Oh I really blanked on that. And what <laughs> What is something uh, that's fun about being alive in 2022? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know why I even asked. I why, why did I, I ask you why. that? <laughs> What's something interesting about being alive in 2022? Everything else. Everything else. <laughs> I, at least personally, am experiencing my first 20 year fashion cycle. In case you don't know what they are, 20 year fashion cycles is sort of like the fashion theory that every 20 years or so, fashion kind of comes back. So like in the 90s, like 70s fashion was very in, 70s culture was very in. In the 2000s and 2010s, it was like the 80s and the, the 90s were very cool, like in the 2010s. Yeah. And now, unfortunately, we've reached the point where the 2000s are cool. Y2K makeup trends, beauty trends, they're very popular on, they're online, they're popular in popular culture. Celebrities like Megan Thee Stallion and Dua Lipa have been praised for looks that are reminiscent of the early 2000s, late 90s. I actually went to high school during uh, the Y2K era, which I think would be defined as like the late 90s. Early 2000s. 2000s. I consider the 90s to have ended on 9-11. Sure, yeah. I think culturally the 90s ended on 9-11. I actually, I don't know if I've ever told you this. I spoke at my high school graduation. In my speech, I was just like, we are the 9-11 generation. <laughs> they shouldn't allow 18 year olds to talk. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> How would you describe Y2K makeup? Look? Some teenager might be like, that's not Y2K makeup. I was there. I she was there, she I'm knows. There, okay, I was the 9-11 generation. <laughs> Y2K makeup is, uh, there's a lot of nudes. Almost like a Barbie pop aesthetic. Yeah, a colorful. Like very like Britney Spears, very Christina Aguilera. It was like thin eyebrows, sparkly eyeshadow, yes. lots of lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss, mm -hmm. lip gloss. So as a visual aid, Kristen's gonna show me some actual, some actual, actual photos. remnants <laughs> of Y2K era. This is me in my uh, year 2000 homecoming. Oh, you know what? You have shown me this because you pointed out all the people that are gay now in this photo. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then yes. Big old dyke right count, there. You count me. If you count me. <laughs> Homo. Anyway, a lot of lot of fruit in this photo. A lot of fruit. It's a big fruit salad. Yeah, it's a big fruit salad. <laughs> and also look how miserable my date looks. <laughs> Alright, we gotta move on. <laughs> he did not want to be there! You had some, some shiny shi eyeshadow. Shiny happening. eyeshadow. I had like the kerchief. My eyebrows were plucked like within an inch of their lives. Like they are hanging on for dear life in this picture. Also, look at hey, why am I hanging on to this tree? She loves nature. <laughs> I love nature. This is my. I went take to take my, my breath away. Oh, this is 2001 prom. The theme was take my breath away. This is my senior photos. It was around this time that I was just like, I'm not gonna look like those Barbie girls. She rejected the Y2K. Yeah, around this is 2002. So 20 like, years later, she's embracing it. I'm embracing it. I think for me, I'm gonna aim to with this brow treatment this stuff what is that basically it's supposed to like a whole gel for your brow and then you can put some concealer on your eyebrows to make them look thinner wait that's a tip i saw online so i'm gonna try and make my eyebrows look thinner without plucking them Thin eyebrows. i'm gonna do um you know glossy shadow a nude lip and then i'm gonna pick a you know a gloss to go over the nude i'm gonna do a blue shadow i'm gonna overdo my lips because like overdone lips like were like a big Big thing. A big thing, like during that time. It's not a natural makeup look. It's definitely like a- You're I'm, wearing makeup. Yeah, it's like you got into you are you got into your mom's makeup. It's kind of the look. And she said, yeah, you can wear it. And she said, yeah, you can wear she it. She said, go ahead. But I'm not gonna teach you how to do it, no. so you know. It, what's really scary is that most of the people doing this look are people who like don't remember 9-11 and like I was in high school on 9-11. It was a seminal moment for me. It's almost like you're the person who is most affected by 9-11 oh. in America. <laughs> I was, thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> it was something that like people talked about just all the time. So like when I think about this time period, like I, it, I'm not removed from like the history of it. God, it took years to grow back my eyebrows. I, I actually never fully grew them back. As someone who also went through these years, I also had way too thin eyebrows and it yeah. took me a long time to really- Your eyebrows were too thin until like, I wanna say 2018. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what was going on there. Yeah, you were like obsessed with the It was just eyebrows. like, you know what it is? It's, I think it's kind of an anxiety thing, but it just yeah. like calms me down to pluck my own hair. I don't know why I thought that powdered 
foundation would be good at covering up my eyebrows. But Do you want to borrow some concealer? Yeah, can I have some concealer? Teens are probably doing a better job than we are. That's the indignity of like the 20 year fashion cycle is that generally speaking, the people doing the fashion the second time around do it better. So it's like, not only are you old, but you're watching like young, beautiful people be better at being young than you were. I think this is working. Yeah, it looks a lot thinner. I think I look like I gave myself a minor black eye. Well, I, I already committed, so I'm gonna do like a little pink highlight over the top of the brow. Yeah, the fun caveat of this video is not only are we doing dated makeup looks, but we're not gonna do them well, so you know. There's a lot to learn from our channel. It's educational. It's educational. How to. Are you putting on eyeshadow with like a Yeah, can we not point it out? Okay, <laughs> sorry. I didn't have an eyeshadow brush, all right? So I'm just using one brush. I know it's gross, but just keep in mind, you don't have to meet me in person if you don't want to. <laughs> so I can get you one. No. Okay, that's okay. The same amount of boys are kissing me now as we're then, so I would say. I have less kissing me now. <laughs> I didn't have that many kissing me back then either. <laughs> you look at this prom picture. Can you believe that no boys wanted to kiss this person who obviously was into women? It's weird to see you wear like femme stuff. I can imagine that would be weird. Yeah. I mean, it's probably weird for you. Mm, I'm so used to it. Really? Yeah. Why does this look so bad? <laughs> we asked oldly. <laughs> <laughs> My eyebrows do look thin though. My eyebrows look thinner too. Do they look good? Your eyebrows, yes. Okay. Your eyebrows do look thin and nice. Maybe I should pluck my eyebrows super thin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sunrise, sunset. That sounds like something we won't regret. Yeah, I won't regret it. I never regret anything. I've never regretted a thing in my life, as evidenced by all of the school dance photos I've just shown you. <laughs> Does that look like a person who regrets? I feel like every generational trend it's just like hot people doing like weird stuff to their face and us being like if only i do the weird stuff to my face mayhaps then i shall be hot mayhaps a kiss i shall receive and you do it you're just like oh theory has not been proven <laughs> are we already done because i'm not as skilled as you are i'm not skilled if i was skilled i'd be going faster <laughs> let me take a look ah! just kidding <laughs> I was around in 2002, it wasn't my high school year, so I don't remember the fashion as clearly. You were going to high school during the uh, uh, leggings under skirts era. Yes, oh my god. And the belted cardigans People era. were doing so many layers when I was in high school. So I feel like in like another eight years, maybe my high school trends will be up and popular with the teens. But I'm someone who was alive in the 90s and stuff, and I didn't know what Y2K was until years later. What? I didn't know as it was happening, because I was only like six when 1999 was happening. Y2K, for those who don't know, is like this like big fear that there was gonna be a computer error when it became 2000 versus 99, and that like a bunch of nuclear missiles or things would happen because the computers wouldn't be able to adjust to the year changing. Y2K was a big deal. I remember, I remember like people being very freaked out about it. I mean, I remember mostly being like, why don't boys like me? <laughs> <laughs> most of, the most <laughs> pressing question of 1999. <laughs> the annoying thing about glittered eyeshadow is that like, when you turn your head, it's like, you see how it's... Yeah. It changes color. Yeah. Yeah, it does change color. I didn't need to open my mouth for that. I just did. That was just a fun bonus. It was just a little, little, for the little heads. extra. For the kitchen heads out there. For the kitchen heads out there. <laughs> hey, I'm a big kitchen head. <laughs> Please make me hot for boys. Maybe if I put more on, I'll be hot for boys. I'm gonna look at Kristen's yearbook while she finishes her look. I actually didn't take like almost any photos of me from like, I wanna say 2005 to 2008. It's like basically like dead. Like the fossil record on me is dead. Cause I was like, I'm too ugly. Uh -oh. Yeah. Don't worry, I didn't get over that. Wait. I have the closing quote. In the Wait, Kristen, Kristen has the closing quote in the yearbook during her speech for the class of 2002. <laughs> Let me read it. This is, I haven't read this, I don't know what this says. This is goodbye, but it's only the beginning. For sometime soon, you will see me dance better, and I will be looking for you to do the same. And I know that I will not be looking in vain. <laughs> was that, what was that a the quote from? It was, was my senior, it was my senior <laughs> graduation. <laughs> My graduate speech was called Sometime soon you will see me dance. It sounds like a threat. <laughs> the title of my graduation speech was called The Dance, and, but it was a metaphor <laughs> for living your best life, even though we are the 9-11 generation. 
No. <laughs> that is what I said in my speech. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I know you're not making it, it up. Literally, I, you want me to find the newspaper clipping where like they literally quoted me saying that because I thought it was poignant that I mentioned that. You will see me dance. You will see me dance. <laughs> you will have to. <laughs> it will be the last thing you see. If you see do not see me dance, you before will. Before I drag you to hell myself. If you do not see me dance, you will be incurring tax penalties for the year 2002. Brown eyes are the most beautiful eyes in the world, baby. I agree. I think brown eyes are beautiful. I think brown eyes are absolutely gorgeous, and I'm not just saying that because I'm staring deeply into my own. <laughs> But it, I, I do say that to myself every morning. I love how you are secretly maybe the most vain person I know. I, it's not a secret. <laughs> I have straight up said to you that like I, I am incredibly vain. You're incredibly vain because you are hot and you are deeply aware of it. Yeah. <laughs> I've always liked the way I look. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. <laughs> I couldn't even understand what that's like. I remember being a teenager and being like, someday I'll be pretty. And then I got my 20s and I was like, someday I'll be pretty. And I got to my 30s and I was like, someday I'll be pretty. You are pretty. Yeah, I know. But you know, you know what I mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> Man, that realization when you realize that like you can't just like give yourself a haircut and turn yourself into a 10. What a horrible day to be 13. <laughs> anyway. All right, I'm putting on blush. Ooh, blush. Oh my God. Wait, this looks great. <laughs> My grandma once told me, she was like, you look a little dead. You should put some blush on. I was like, thanks, grandma. But you know what? Ten years later, I got the last laugh. Who's dead now? <laughs> Just kidding. I love her so much. Is she dead, though? One of them is. Oh, okay. my God. The one that said that to me is dead. <laughs> but I miss her. I miss her and love her. Like, genuinely, I miss and love my grandparents. Of course you do. I just was making a joke. Jen actually has a reminder on her computer that's like call grandparents and it goes off every day. And I call her. It's really, it's cute. I don't want to hear any children be like, you didn't do it right. Quiet. You're not doing you it right. You weren't there. You weren't there, okay. <laughs> Your parents hadn't even <laughs> yet. <laughs> and there's nothing we could have done about it. <laughs> we finished our looks and we're going to see what Brie thinks of them. This is my look. I did purple above the eyes, and a nude lip, and then a very shiny gold gloss. I have Urban Decay Lucid, and then this Huda Beauty Moon Magic. I made my eyebrows look really thin. I love these looks. I think that these looks are accurate. And don't take our word for it. Let's bring in another millennial to see what they think of our Y2K inspired looks. Hey, come here. Come here, you beautiful millennial come lady. Here, millennial. Oh, hey. Hey, lady. Hey, Hi. lady. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, not too much. Not too much. I hear we're doing 2000s beauties. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, honestly, I feel special. Uh, you did not get subjected to this experience. Yeah. I really didn't. I was about to say, like, I didn't. Re I don't really know what the so much what the beauty uh, trends were at the time. Well, feast your eyes. Upon this! Oh, okay. I like the uh, I like the colors. <laughs> They're good colors. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about my colors? Oh, you, you look great. Thanks. Do you like how thin yeah. my eyebrows are? Because I do like how thin your eyebrows, eyebrows are. are. Thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was I remember that being a look. I like how glossy your lips are, and your you, you know your eyelashes look great. Like yeah, no, you look you look fantastic. Very early two thousands, baby. Mm -hmm. And me too. I also nailed it. Yeah, you also <laughs> nailed it. Scale of one to ten on accuracy. What do you think? Oh, I give myself a 10. Yeah. I also give myself a 10. Yeah, 10s. 10s, 10s all around. 10s all around. I mean, this is, I'm looking she's, at this now and I'm like, oh my God, this is what I did. Oh! She's a 10, but it's 2000s fashion. I, I took, took our breath away. I took my <laughs> breath away. Do, do, do. Take my breath oh, away. away. Thanks everybody for this fun. What beauty trends do you want us to try next? Also, do you want us to like talk about like I don't know what high school stuff? Let um, us know yeah. below we'll, if you understand. We'll relive what we're trauma asking. for clicks. It'll be great. Anyway. Anyway, bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Kisses. Kisses.